What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Summit Tech once again, and welcome to yet another mining video. Today, we're going to be taking a look at what the best RX 5000 series GPU is to mine on as of October 2020. Let's get into it. Glad to feed the bears. All right, so we have put together an Excel spreadsheet with hash rate and power numbers for a bunch of different coins and then put them into these nice charts for you guys to compare and contrast the differences between the RX 5500 XT, specifically this one was an MSI version, and then an RX 5600 XT, which is from XFX, and then another XFX with the RX 5700 XT. The only coins that we really tried to dial in was Ravencoin out of necessity because you have to modify uh, the configuration files for that to mine properly on all of the cards and then Ethereum because that is the most popular one out. There is a caveat to this and that is that while we do have BIOS mods for the RX 5600 XT and RX 5700 XT, we do not have BIOS mods for the RX 5500 XT. However, we were able to overclock it and get it up there. So without further ado, let's hop into the chart. Starting off with Aeon, we had a hash rate of 126.9 on the 5500 XT. 185.7 solutions a second on the 5600 XT and 234.7 solutions on the 5700 XT. The power draw on these for the 5500 XT was 87 watts while on the 5600 XT it was 116 watts and on the 5700 XT it was 191 watts. Quite a bit more power on that 5700 XT and maybe not worth it if you take a look at the 5600 XT there but you're going to start seeing this pattern here pretty sh pretty shortly. It's it's actually very interesting. Moving on to beam we had, once again, in solutions a second, we had 12 on the 5500 XT, 18.7 on the 5600 XT, and 27.2 on the 5700 XT. Moving on to power for these cards, during beam, we had 92 watts being pulled on the RX 5500 XT. We had 111 watts being pulled on the 5600 XT we had 211 watts being pulled on the 5700 XT. Finally, everybody's favorite coin to mine right now because of the profitability is Ethereum. The 5500 XT overclocked got a hash rate of 27 mega hash a second, while the 5600 XT got 42 mega hash a second, and the 5700 XT got 56 mega hash a second. Power draw, total power in watts on the 5500 XT was 88, while on the 5600 XT it was 117, and on the 5700 XT, it was 120, clearly putting the 5700 XT in the lead on Ethereum. So if that's what you were here for, then there is the answer to your question. Moving on to Grin in GS graphs the second, we had 0.1 on the 5500 XT and 0.23 on both the 5600 XT and the 5700 XT. And power in watts was 111 watts on the 5500 XT, 120 watts on the 5600 XT, and 228 watts on the 5700 XT, clearly putting the 5600 XT in the lead here. Moving on to Haven, which has been a newer coin that's been slightly profitable. We have hash a second. On the 5500 XT, we got 701. On the 5600 XT, no matter how hard we tried, we only got 647, which is interesting. And on the 5700 XT, we got 1195. Power draw on this algorithm is gonna be 87 watts on the 5500 XT, 85 watts on the 5600 XT, and 175 watts on the 5700 XT, clearly putting the 5500 XT in the lead and the only win for this card. Uh, today. Now, moving on to Ravencoin, which is kind of one of those hedge bet coins and still profitable to mine right now. The 5500 XT scored 
13 mega hash a second, while the 5600 XT scored 20 mega hash a second, and the 5700 XT scored 27 mega hash a second. Power draw on the 5500 XT was 121 watts, on the 5600 XT was 119 watts, and on the 5700 XT was 210 watts. And this does put the 5700 XT in the lead for Ravencoin. Moving on to Ryo in hashes per second, we got 860 on the 5500 XT. We had 1561 on the 5600 XT. And we had 2085 on the 5700 XT. Power draw on these cards was 102 on the 5500 XT while mining this. 122 on the 5600 XT and 211 on the 5700 XT. Moving on to Monero, I don't recommend mining on a GPU, but it's good to test. On the 5500 XT, we had 548 hash a second. On the 5600 XT, we had 702 hash a second. And on the 5700 XT, we had 913 hash a second. The power draw while mining this coin was 68 watts on the 5500 XT, 90 watts on the 5600 XT, and 211 watts on the 5700 XT. Z coin, we had mega hash per second of 1.7 on the 5500 XT, 1.8 on the 5600 XT, and 3 on the 5700 XT. Power in watts was 125 watts on the 5500 XT, 149 watts on the 5600 XT, and 210 watts on the 5700 XT, putting the 5700 XT in the lead on three coins so far. Finally, we have Zell Cash in solutions a second. On the 5500 XT, we had 17.7. On the 5600 XT, we had 26.9. And on the 5700 XT, we had 40.5. Power in watts here was 123 on the 5500 XT, 120 on the 5600 XT, and 210 on the 5700 XT. All right, so let's talk about these results and kind of give you guys a little idea on what you should be looking at here and what you may be wanting to look at in the future. We do know that Ethereum currently is going to be moving to proof of stake eventually, so you want to keep that in mind when you're choosing your cards. And if that's the case and we take a look at the best performance between all three of these cards it does look like if once you move off of once you take ethereum out of the equation the 5600 xt seems to perform the best across multiple algorithms now that being said ravencoin zcoin and ethereum go hands down to the 5700 xt when you compare the hash rate to the power draw and I don't think you're going to be in too much trouble if you're going for max capacity on Ethereum and then needing to move this off onto something else in the future. What does that mean for you guys? What should you buy? Should you buy the 5500, the 5600, or the 5700? Because RX 580s, 480s, and 570s and 470s are still getting about 30 mega hash a second with BIOS modding uh, on Ethereum. We will be talking about that in a future video, but because of that, the 5500 XT kind of goes the way of the dinosaur. It kind of, we don't need that because we can probably pick up 480s and so on. That being said, its power draw is impressive, albeit at 88 watts with stock. If we could get a BIOS mod on these cards, I could figure one out. It's possible that they end up coming out uh, trading blows with the older Polaris cards. However, you know, the 42 mega hash a second at 117 watts with the micron memory, of course, was in these 5600 XTs. I couldn't find any with Samsung. Means that you are right around baseline of, you know, mining Ethereum well, while also being able to really take off on a few other coins uh, later on. Specifically, when you look at things like the 
Aeon and so forth, it does appear, a beam is another example, it does appear that you're getting a better hash rate on those for the power consumption over the 5700 XT as well as the 5500 XT. Where the 5500 XT really took off, which was interesting, was Haven Coin at 701 hash a second with 87 watts of power, beating out the 5600 XT uh, pretty steadily. However, the 5700 XT with about double the power consumption almost doubles the hash rate at least over the 5600 XT, but the 5700 X, or the 5500 XT still beats it overall because if you had two uh, 5500 XTs, for example, you would be at 160 to 180 watts, somewhere between there with 1400 hash a second versus the 1200 or so hash a second on the 5700 XT at 175 watts. So I want to apologize for some of the power consumptions on the previous videos when we did the individual reviews. Uh, however, the profitability is still over there for 2020. It is staying uh, relevant right now. That may fall off. These videos are primarily to give you the information for you to go into what to mine and plug them in and kind of get an idea of what your profitability should be. If this video was helpful, be sure to leave a like and comment down below. Hit the notification bell for future mining videos and share it out to all your friends that are looking to get into mining. Until next time, I'll see you next Tuesday.